everyone. Today, we are gonna do a tutorial on the new Scent Decor model My Scent 230 Scent Diffuser. We'll be going over how to do a factory reset, program current date and time, hours of operation, set scent intensity, and connect HVAC too. We first want to use the key to open the front panel. To refill the bottle, simply pull out the 200 milliliters bottle and twist off the cap. Make sure the cap is twisted back on the bottle before putting it back in the diffuser. Now, we connect the power supply cord firmly on the left side of the machine. The blue LED lights up automatically when the diffuser is within scheduled working time. The screen displays the factory setting of time, date, and working mode. Set if we have already attempted to set the timer on the device. Press and hold the mode button for 10 seconds to restore the factory setting. Now we can program the current date and time. Press the set button for 5 seconds to activate the clock setting interface. The hour digits will flash. Then we press the up or down button to select your time zone's current hour using military time and press set to confirm. The minutes digits will flash and we can set the current minute in the same way. The weekday selector will flash after we confirm the current minute. Now we press the up or down button to select the current day and then press set to confirm local time setting. The system will automatically save the setting. Please make sure this is the time that should display on the diffuser screen every time you open the front panel, and it must match your clock time except it will be in military time. Next we'll change the turbofan gears. F1 is the highest gear and the default option when the diffuser is turned on. We can press the down button for 3 seconds to change the gear to F2 which is the lowest gear. Press the down button for another 3 seconds to turn off the fan. Your diffuser will still work just fine when the fan is off. Next, we'll program the working schedule and set it up from 10.05 a.m. to 4.05 p.m. We press the mode button to enter the event 1 on setting. Here, we press the set button and the hour digits begin to blink. Use the up and down button and change it to 10. Then, we press the set button again to confirm and the minute digits begins to blink. We change the minute to 5 and in the same way and press the set button again to confirm. Now the day selector begins to blink. We press the up button to select all the days we want the diffuser to work. We can see the little boxes under the days we selected. If we want to deselect a day, we can press the down button to do so. Now we press the mode button again to save and enter the event 1 off setting. We can set the time we want the diffuser to stop working in the same way. intervals from 5 to 100 seconds, and 10 seconds from 100 to 300 seconds. Then, we press the mode button again to save and set the pause time. By pressing the down button, we can also decrease the time by 5 seconds intervals from 5 to 100 seconds, and 10 seconds from 100 to 300 seconds. above to set up for event 2. Up to 5 non-overlapping events can be set on this diffuser spanning a 24 hours day. Please note that the diffuser will not work if the time on two events overlap. a 24 hours day only and the system time is midnight to 2359. 
If out of range, device will automatically switch to the next event. You can set two separate events if necessary. For this example, if we want the diffuser to start work at 10 p.m. and end at 2 a.m., we'll set the first event from 10 p.m. to 11.59 p.m. and second event from midnight to 2 a.m. the quick setting interface by pressing the up or down button and adjust the set diffusing time. We can press the mode button immediately after adjusting the set diffusing time to also adjust pause time if needed. The device will automatically save the updated times. connect the HVAC cube with the connect adapter that comes with the diffuser. First, unscrew the nozzle that comes on the diffuser by turning it counterclockwise with your fingers or using a pair of pliers. Replace it with the HVAC quick connect adapter that comes in the small bag and then connect the HVAC tube. You can follow the instructions in the user's manual on how to connect the other end of the tube to your HVAC system. our tutorial and please don't hesitate to contact us if you have other questions.